hey there in this video we'll be seeing how you can add custom middlewares to your next js api routes just like you used to do for your express apis now by definition a middleware is nothing but just a function which has access to your request and response http objects for your api route and it does some kind of pre-processing on them for example authorization of the request validation of your request body or maybe just simple logging so let's quickly jump to our example of an express api and how we used to add middlewares there now if you see on the screen we have very basic example of an express api which is a get request with the route name hello and its handler function is doing nothing but just returning a json response with a message hello world now if we had to add a custom middleware to this function all we had to do was to add another function before the actual handler function so something like this so this is my implementation of a logger middleware right now it's doing nothing but just logging the string logger invoked and as I just told you, it has access to the request and response object. So I can maybe log the request here. And then if you notice, there is one more parameter called next. Now next is nothing but a callback function, which will be called at the end of every middleware function. And its job is to move to the next function in the chain of execution. Now when our API route will be handled, it will invoke this function first, log the request body, and then call the next callback what it will do is move to the next function, which is our main handler function and send back the HTTP response. So like this, we can chain multiple middlewares in Express. Let's just copy this and uh, create another middleware for this API route and maybe call it our authorization middleware. So if I start a server and try to hit this request, you'll see in the console that we have logger invoked and request authorized. Now in this very simple example, we just saw how Express used to implement multiple middlewares and we had access to a callback function called next, which we just used to invoke to move to the next function in the chain of handlers for a particular API. Now we want to implement something similar for our next JS API routes. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So here we are back on our next JS project and we have our fetch customers API here which you might remember we created in our previous video around Next.js API routes. Now the current API handler for this particular route fetches the customer's list from a MySQL table and then it just sends it back as a JSON response. So let's just test our API again. So we'll hit the route API customers and if you see it fetches a list of rows that are there in the customer's table. Now coming back to a Next.js handler function for this API, the way we define them is different from how we do in Express. And if we have to add middlewares here, we don't have access to that next callback that we use to chain middlewares together in Express. So here to add any custom middleware for any kind of pre-processing of the request and response objects, we'll have to use the concept of higher order functions. Now a higher order function is a function which takes in another function as a parameter and then in its response returns a new function. Now I know that might have sounded a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and see an actual example around how a higher order function works. Let's say there is a function called sum, which takes in two values as parameters a and b, and then console logs the sum of those two values. Now let's say we want to modify our function and add a layer of validation that checks if a and b are numbers or not. We can achieve that using a higher order function. Now, if you notice this function sum validate here, it's taking in one parameter, which will be our sum function that we have created earlier. And here in the return statement, we're returning an anonymous function, which in the end is invoking the actual sum function, which will be passing as a parameter. But if you notice before invoking that, we are doing the check whether A and B are numbers or not. So we are saying if A or B is not a number, then you can throw the error in valid outputs. So let's go ahead and test this sum validate function. Now remember, we'll be calling this sum validate function and the one parameter it takes is the actual sum function itself. And this function is supposed to return a new function, which we are storing by the name of invoke. Invoke currently represents this anonymous function, which was returned from sum validate. And if you see this anonymous function was taking in two parameters a and b. So let's pass two numbers and test our invoke function. So if you see, we're getting the result six back. Now let's try to send in a string instead of a number and we're getting the error in valid inputs. So we just basically saw how higher order functions work 
and we were able to add a layer of validation for our sum function. And this is exactly what we need to do to add middlewares to our Next.js API routes, where instead of calling the sum, we'll be returning our actual handler function. And whatever happens before returning that function will act as the code for the middleware. So let's go ahead and implement this. So under source, I created a new folder called middlewares where we created a file logger.js, which will be exporting our logger middleware function. So if you see, I'm passing the handler here as the parameter, and this represents the actual handler function of our API route. Now as a next step, we want to return a new function. And since our handler was asynchronous, we'll add the async key here. And this function that we are returning, which is currently anonymous, should return the actual handler in the end. And since the handler needs request and response objects, we are passing request and response as the parameters here, just like we did in our example where we were using A and B to represent numbers. Now let's actually come to the part where we write the code for a middleware. Now the whole point of adding a middleware was to do some kind of pre-processing over the request and response objects. And since this is our logger function, let's just log the request dot headers for now. So here we're just logging a message logger invoked along with the request headers. Now our middleware is ready and it's completely up to you to add more things to your middleware. And whatever you want to implement in your middleware, you can just write that code here. Just to keep the examples quick and simple, I'm just logging a message. Let's save this. And in our customer's route, we'll import this logger function. And the last thing that we need to do is actually call the logger function and pass our handler to it as a logger function is supposed to take in the handler. Now let's save our changes and restart our server. Let's also expand this console so we can see our result clearly. And let's go back and hit our customer's API again. So we're getting the response back, but the important thing is in our console, we should also be seeing the headers. So if you see here, the logger was actually invoked and it's logging all the headers that were passed for this get request. Now, the good thing about writing our middlewares like this is that we can reuse it for all of our other APIs. So if I just go back to our basic hello that we created here, we can import the logger here. And instead of exporting the handler function directly, we'll import the handler wrapped around the logger function. And we'll repeat this step for all of our APIs that need this particular middleware. Now, always keep in mind that your middleware code can also fail and you need to handle the errors in that case. So always wrap that bit of code in a try catch block. Now, so far we saw how we could add a single middleware to an Next.js API routes. But as we saw in our express example, we were able to chain multiple handlers together. And the way we can achieve this in Next.js is by chaining the middleware functions called together. All that matters is it should return a proper HTTP handler. As far as that's happening, you can chain as many middleware calls as you want. So here I've created another middleware called authorize. This one is supposed to verify the JWT token that's passed for every API request in the headers, but we'll not dive deep into the implementation just yet. We'll see how tokens can be used for API authorization in our next video. So we'll import the authorized middleware and just notice how I will be exporting our handler now. So I'll wrap my handler around this authorize function and the handler function, which will be returned from this function call will then be passed to the next middleware, which is logger. And like this, we'll be able to chain our multiple middlewares together for an API. So let's go ahead and test our API again on a development server, which is running on port 3000. So we'll go here, hit the API again. And now just notice in the terminal, we can see both the logger and the token authorization middlewares that we just created. Now, one thing to notice here is the order in which they are executed. So here, as it is evident, the logger was invoked first and then the authorized middleware was called. So you need to keep this order in mind in which the middlewares will be executed. So let's exchange the order of the middlewares and hit the API again. Now, if you notice the token authorization was hit first and this middleware also adds a verified key to the header which you can now see being logged at the end here. So this was it for this video. We just learned how we can create multiple custom middlewares and how we can chain them together for our API handlers using the concept of higher order functions. Now these middlewares aren't doing a lot right now and we'll dive deeper how token authorization works in our next video. So subscribe to this channel for the future videos.
and if you have any doubts comment down below that's all i had and i'll see you guys in the next one